Give me some more celebration. That's what I'm. I think I'm gonna so. bring that into the sport. Curling now enters the sports weekend spotlight. This has been an outstanding granite odyssey we've been watching unfold with uh, Steph Labe um, becoming a curling fan. And of course, Steph and Georgia Simmerling were on the ice at the Glencoe in Calgary uh, a short time ago uh, with, of course, Ben Hebert. And they're in the house right now. Uh, let's bring them in. But we're also going to watch some of their video of them on the ice. There they are. Let's watch yeah. the video and then get your reaction. Let's watch. It's happening. We're curling. Let's go. Steph's getting lessons. She's going to hit the button. We've got Benny. Got Coach Paul. You're on sheet seven right now, Ben. You're on sheet seven. I better get sweeping. We're going to do this right now. That's a final shot of Team Blue. Sort of similar here with a. This looks really good. Eater. We're cool. good. Line's great. Let it curl a bit. I think you can. Don't. Oh, Steph Labby might have the double. Finish it off. Roll. Double! Double! That was a great shot by George Simmerling. Yes, you do, Steph. We got the hammer. Steph says we got the hammer. <laughs> yeah, we do. And here it comes. Okay. There it is. Oh, this is a good chance. We got to make a curl. Oh, this is good. Whoa. Hard. Hard, Benny. Hard, Benny. Really hard, Ben. Come on. Seriously, lean on it. Oh, yes. Oh! <laughs> that is only oh, oh, so good. You guys have played before. That is a oh, you're muted, guys. Never, never been to amateur. amateurs here. That was never not your here. first time. I will say no. I've played. I've curled once, and I ha I had a broken wrist. <laughs> Because of curling or going? No, no, previously shattered wrist, but some friends were going and I didn't want to miss it. So I went. And, and Steph, that was your first time. Uh, I'll be transparent. I went one time before, but that time I had no uh, coaches or anything. And I was just out playing and I couldn't figure out how to get the rock to like stay in play. So this was my first time legitimately being able to do it. It's Amazing. not fair. It's not fair. I had, I had someone on Instagram say, or they wrote me and they said, if you have never curled before, we're not friends. <laughs> I said, never curled before. What did you learn with your, on your, with your day with Ben Heber? Ooh, what did we learn? Ooh. What, what I just said, what's Steph, what's sheet seven? <laughs> um, a lot, a lot. We learned yeah, a lot. A lot. A lot of it was like the arm and, and how stiff your arm is. Like we were like going and then wanting to like push the rock, but how it's not actually, you have to push from the legs, not the and, arm. Yeah, and you have a taut arm. Like it's not a, there's no leg like, overcooked noodles. <laughs> I love that. Um, you guys are such outstanding athletes. There's always this conversation and always these keyboard warriors who come out of the woodwork every four years who go, Curling's not a sport. <laughs> Prove them wrong right now. <laughs> I think even that I I, uh, I learned I didn't know information I didn't know that um like a, a hard sweeping uh, game uh, can can burn like fifteen to eight hundred calories. Well, eighteen hundred. Sorry, fifteen eighteen hundred calories. That's a workout, folks. That's a workout. That's and, and you can see from our videos like we were making Ben work. <laughs> The, we weren't really sure what kind of like he just kept saying throw some heat on it so you know we're in our minds we're thinking we got to throw this hard and apparently we weren't throwing it that hard that he was having a sweep that much but i, I said so. go hard ben you gotta go benny he's like no we're good. i'm like you gotta go <laughs> so so what do you think is there another olympic sport in your um future for well, both of you we have some shoes and uh curling Brooms. Brooms. Brooms coming next week. So. 
<laughs> We've got to get the lingo down. <laughs> yeah, like from coming a, next week come from a sponsor, so we might be getting on the ice well, a few more times. We're going again. We're well, going again. You're hooked. Um, yeah. Yeah. You guys are embracing this. I mean, people, Canadians are absolutely loving you too and the content you're, you're posting. How much fun is this for you guys? I mean, you've worked your asses off your entire careers and now you can kind of just wear the Canadian jerseys. I, I honestly believe you haven't taken them off. No, I no, haven't taken them off. <laughs> I, my whole work day is right here and I wear the jersey. <laughs> right. How fun is this for you guys? And, and it's just so awesome to see Canadians loving you guys. We were saying that this is our first Olympics that we've a been together and b uh, where I where or at least where I wasn't um, on a lot of Vicodin with two broken legs together. Um, so we can enjoy the Olympics uh, together. Where there's no uh, guilt if we want to have a beer on a Tuesday night um, and watch the games, and it's been a lot of fun. Yeah, it's. I mean, being able to stay up late and watch events and just like yeah get into watching these sports that you know we didn't know we had a deep-rooted passion for and <laughs> it's just been a totally different experience and i think yeah just being retired has given me a different point of view and a, a different excitement around the games and you both have walked this walk here and know what the pressure is like to compete but what's it like as a fan do you feel like when you're competing you have no nerves you're just there doing your job versus watching you're maybe biting your fingernails off I, I feel like it, this that question kind of resonates with me when I watched uh, Steph in the gold medal final in Calgary. I had already uh, previous, previously flown home to Calgary and, you know, was competing in the games, flew home, was able to watch uh, her game um, with, a, with a lot of people at a, at a bar in Calgary that hosted uh, the you know, Canadian sports um, world. And people kept on coming up to me, like screaming, coming up to me, like, how are you so calm? How are you so calm? This is crazy, like during the PK shootout. And I don't know, I think maybe it's like a personality thing, like kind of overarching, but uh, as well as, you know, a history of, you know, competing at, at a high level. But um, I'm, I'm a pretty calm, I'd say, uh, spectator. Awesome. I think you guys got to get going. Um, yeah. But before you go, quick predictions. Is it a win over USA tonight? Has to be. We've got the Canada jersey on. We're, we're feeling it. Go Canada, and, go. And you'll be live tweeting throughout with me. <laughs> you know it. This one. <laughs> you know it. I especially love the landing after the shot, by the way. I wish more curlers would do that. A solid 10 out of 10 on the land. Got to be some more celebration. That's what I'm I think I'm going to so. bring that into the sport. 